Hey guys, welcome back to 365 Days of SEO. This is Christian Bullock. Today we're talking about a how-to SEO topic, <clears throat> and that is, how can you see how many social shares a certain web page has? So I'm going to present two tools that I use, one's free, one paid, that tends to get me right around the, the ballpark of um, the number of shares on each social platform a certain web page has had. But first, why would you want to see this? Well, a couple of different scenarios. First, maybe you're doing a um, an SEO audit of a website. You just want to get some basic idea of, you know, maybe go to their blog and go to their most recent blog page or blog posts and see are people tweeting about this, are they on Facebook, is there a Reddit post about it, etc. Just gives you a nice primer on how share how shareable the content is and and if the company itself is actually harnessing some social media in terms of sharing their new blog posts. Another reason, of course, is for measurement. So if you're working with a company or you're in-house and you're creating content, it's always good to know, um, you know the number of shares that a certain piece of content has because that should inform the types of content you should be creating in the future and inform that content strategy that you should have in place. So my two tools. The first one I use, which is entirely free, and I use a lot, and it's really great. It's actually a Chrome extension. The Chrome extension is ShareMetric. So I'll provide a link in this blog post. But ShareMetric is a Chrome extension. You go to a web page, you load it up, and it'll give you things like um, likes, comments, shares on Facebook, tweets on Twitter. Um, Reddit, which I mentioned earlier, um, does it, is there a Reddit post associated with it? How many upvotes versus downvotes has it gotten, etc. So it's a really great tool that if you were a ShareMetric subscriber, you'd get some more additional functionality. Unfortunately, I am not, but I find that the functionality it gives me just being free is really, really, really great. The other tool I use, which is paid, is Open Site Explorer by Moz. Of course, you put in a URL and it'll give you all those share metrics. So when I use those two tools, you know, sometimes it's not it, it's it's not easy to to get the actual to, you know, the total number, right? You're kind of getting a ballpark estimate cuz it's kind of pulling it in from different platforms, different sources. So whenever I'm looking to create a measurement of, you know, how many shares a page has, etc., I usually use those two tools and kind of uh, pretty much um, average it out between the two like one page might get 70 tweets the one might get 76 so I'll just say 73 tweets again that's why and how you should look for social metrics on a page level basis my name is Christian Bullock 365 days of see you guys tomorrow